Welcome to Cardamone Law University, translating the Pennsylvania Workers' Compensation Act into plain English for injured workers. It's Mike Cardamone here. Today I wanted to talk about the LIBC forms. These are reporting forms that the insurance company can send out every six months or so if you're receiving workers' compensation benefits or even if you're pursuing benefits. The forms, some of them look like they're identical, but they're slightly different. It's really important that you call your attorney and go over these forms so that you can fill them out properly. Some of the questions are really vague on these forms. For example, one of the questions is, has your physical condition changed? Well, for a lot of people, it changes moment by moment, depending on the day and the level of activity and whether they took their medications, things like this. So. A lot of times for that answer, it's it's okay to just put no. They're looking for bigger type things. Um, also, there's some space there. If you can uh, fit it in, you can write in an explanation for some of the answers. Another question that comes up a lot is, are you employed by anybody other than the employer? Um, you know, things like this. And they'll also ask questions about whether you're receiving certain kind of benefits. The workers' comp carrier gets a credit for certain benefits. For example, a pension to the extent funded by the employer, uh, Social Security old age benefits, unemployment compensation, um, things like this, um, or severance. So it's really important to make sure you understand what you're putting down for the answer. And again, call your attorney. And if you don't have one, call us and we'll help you out. It's 215-206-9068. A lot of times people will confuse unemployment compensation with workers' compensation. We've had many clients who have written down their workers' comp rate on the line that asks for unemployment compensation. And then we have to explain it or have the forms redone. But if you look at the big picture here, why, why is it important to fill out these forms? One is... If you don't return them within 30 days, your checks will stop. Um, that's one of the ways the insurance company can stop your checks unilaterally without a court order. So it's really important to work on these forms, fill them out, and get them back. We like to tell our clients to send them back to us, and then we send them over to the other attorney or the adjuster. The reason we do that is because we'll have a paper trail of when we return the forms. Uh, a lot of times the insurance company will claim they never got them and the injured worker will say, yeah, I sent them on such and such date. That's one of the advantages of having a law firm behind you. We can set, send the records or the forms ourselves and uh, you know that'll, that'll give um, some evidence of um, compliance with that 30-day rule. So the LIBC forms usually comes in a set of three. Again, some of, the, some of the questions look the same on the forms. Don't ignore them. Fill them all out. Send them back to your attorney. If you have any questions on it, you can always call your attorney and they'll you know, go over the, um, the answers to make sure they're honest and accurate. And again, sometimes there's space there to put in an explanation if it's not that black and white. Um, what they're looking for basically is anything to give them a credit. Or um, they also can ask a question, for example, um, you know, is, are you aware of any anything else that we should we should know in terms of your case? It's sort of a vague question. It may not be word for word like that, but I'm just paraphrasing. So they're looking for information that can give them some leverage or a credit to cut down your workers' comp uh, benefits. That being said, you have an obligation to be honest and forthright. Of course, that goes without saying. So you want to um, answer the questions as honestly as, as possible. And again, sometimes they're they're poorly written and that can throw off the injured worker, um, especially if they're sort of overthinking it. Um, you just want to keep it simple and make sure you, you call your counsel um, to go over them. So these forms are important. They confuse a lot of people. We get a lot of phone calls every month about these forms. And um, it's really important to, to work on them quickly. Get them off your back. Get them back to your attorney so you don't have to stress about it. And, um, and of course, the other thing is you want to be honest. If you're not honest, you can be subject to, you know, to criminal, criminal action. So 
that's a no-brainer. You want to make sure you're given the, the, the most honest reply possible. If you have any more questions on the LIBC forms under the Pennsylvania Workers' Comp Act, uh, make sure you call us. We'll help you out again. There's no fees in workers' comp unless there's a court order. That means we would either have to settle your case or win um, a petition in court that benefits your case. Otherwise, we just monitor things and represent you. There's no cost, no fees, nothing. So it's really smart to lawyer up in these cases. You end up making a lot you know, better settlements when you have a, an attorney behind you. Not every case results in a lump sum settlement, but many of them do. And you want to make sure you have counsel backing you up and giving you the proper analysis for the facts and law um, in your situation. So call us 215-206-9068. You can email michael at cardamonelaw.com. So M-I-C-H-A-E-L at C-A-R-D-A-M-O-N-E law.com and uh, we'll help you out and give you a, a free case review thanks that's all for now from cardamone law university and we'll talk to you soon bye bye